OK, now let's look at chords, cadences and intervals. Now, a chord is a collection of notes played at the same time. To keep it simple, let's talk about three notes being played at the same time. So here is the chord of A minor. Um, it's minor because it sounds minor, and it's A because the bottom note, or the root note of this chord, is A. You can see that at the left. Um, here's a major chord. This is D major. It sounds happy, sounds major, and the bottom note is D. Now, we usually name these chords in the number in which they appear on the scale. For example, For now, you don't need to worry about chord 7. Now, cadences are sets of chords used usually at the end of musical phrases. So a perfect cadence would be any chord 5 to chord 1. So if we were in the key of C, that would be the chord of G to the chord of C. Now the one in the middle, in perfect cadence, is any chord that finishes on chord 5. So it could sound like this. Or like this. It basically always sounds unfinished. And the plagal cadence is any chord 4 to chord 1. So again in the key of C that would be the chord of F to the chord of C. Now intervals are the gaps between these notes. And all of the chords we're using here, the intervals are thirds. That means you can count three notes from one note to the next. So if we have C as our root note, D would be a second, E would be a third, and so on. Let's hear that scale again, but this time playing the root note with every note. And of course, in terms of intervals, we could be talking about any key. If we go to the key of G, then G is the root note, A is the second, B the third, and so on. The most common intervals are thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and octaves, because these sound the nicest when they are played together. Let's have a listen to some examples. Playing in thirds. playing in fourths. Playing in fifths. Playing in sixths. <laughs> 